everyone, welcome back to the kitchen. Today we've got another classic Christmas treat. This one is a retro throwback to Rick's and my childhood. One of our favorite candy bars used to be a chunky bar, and today we're gonna make our own. I can't wait to show you how this all comes together. Okay, so today we have a real throwback to Rick's and my childhood. This used to be one of our favorite candy bars when we were a kid. Now, when I was little, and for those of you who are my age, you remember what a chunky bar is. Now, I know that you can still buy chunky bars, but I am here to tell you, the chunky bars of today are not the chunky bars of yore. And when I was a kid, these used to be my very, very favorite. A chunky bar, if you're not familiar, was a big block, a square of milk chocolate that had salted peanuts and raisins in it. One of my favorites ever. So we're gonna make some today and we're going to use two bags. So this is approximately four cups of milk chocolate chips, one cup each of salted um, dry roasted peanuts and raisins. To make things easy, because I know that everybody has an ice cube tray, we don't have a mold that is gonna replicate the original chunky bar, but ice cube trays are gonna do the trick. So that's what we're gonna use. I'm gonna go ahead and melt the chocolate and then I'll be back and we'll proceed. All right, now our chocolate was in the microwave. On, in my microwave, which is 1100 watts, I put it in for a minute and 11 seconds and then it was almost there, so I put it in for another 15. So a minute and 26 seconds, but you don't ever wanna do it all at one time. This is perfectly, melted and pourable and it makes a ribbon on top of itself and that's exactly what you want. You wanna be really careful when melting chocolate chips because if you put it in for too long, it will burn and, it, and then it will seize. So you don't wanna risk that happening. So now all we're gonna do is simply pour all of these good goodies right in there with the chocolate. And then we're gonna stir it all up. Now the benefit of making it yourself like this is that you really can get a good ratio of fruit and nuts to chocolate. If I recall correctly, sometimes the chunky bars had spots that didn't have anything in them except mm -hmm. chocolate. So this way you really get all the good stuff in all the good places. Okay, now all we have to do is pop this and spoon it into our ice cube trays and that's what we're gonna do next. All right, so I've almost got all of my, well, all, I've got all of the chocolate in these trays so all you have to do do a little spoonful fill them up as much or as little as you like and you could get a rubber spatula and you know do that but so here's my first tray so there's 16 pieces in here and 12 so what is that 28 so that's what we got out of this batch you can just go ahead and clean up the edges a little if you need to they're gonna pop right out after they get cooled now i like to just Give these a good wrap on the counter, just so everything settles. And then we're gonna put these in the freezer for about a half an hour or in the refrigerator for about an hour until they completely set up. That gives you time to clean up. And then when they're ready, I'll bring you back and I'll show you what they look like. All right, our homemade chunky bars are ready to go. They've set up and they only took about a half an hour in the freezer. So you, I'm gonna leave it up to you. But I'm gonna give you a couple of tips here. Making them in the ice cube trays, you can try spraying them with a little coconut oil spray if you like. They're gonna stick. So what I did was I just took a butter knife and I gently pried them out and they pop right out. So I mean the plastic is pretty smooth. You alternatively could use a silicone ice cube tray. I do have a square silicone mold that would have been approximately the same size as a chunky bar. I decided not to use that today because a lot of people are on very tight budgets and I didn't want people to feel like they absolutely positively had to buy that mold in order to enjoy this treat. Everybody has access to an ice cube tray. They're very inexpensive. Maybe you even have some that you don't use and it's a way to put them to work. Even beyond that, you wanna make this treat you don't have the silicone mold, you don't have the ice cube tray, make fruit and nut clusters. Just take a cookie scoop and scoop these out onto a cookie sheet, put them in your fridge or freezer, let them set up and 
you're good to go. Enjoy. And, and, and they'll be perfect. Everyone will love them. They'll taste exactly the same. And Rick has already taste tested these. And what was your consensus? Just like it. Just like it. I remember. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretty this up for you guys. Um, and I'm going to let you see what they look like. And um, I'll be right back. Well, there you have it. Our homemade chunky bars are ready to go, ready to enjoy. You can pack these up in a bag, put them in a little gift box, give them to your friends and family for Christmas, take them as a hostess gift. They're the perfect treat. They're super easy to make. I would store these in the refrigerator if you're gonna make them any amount of time in advance. Like you could make these now in anticipation of giving them away, but just put them in a nice box that seals tightly and you'll be good to go. Then when you give them, people will be able to enjoy them and they're not gonna last long anyway, so I wouldn't even worry about telling them to put them in the refrigerator. As you can see, you can see all the goodness, the peanuts and the raisins in that delicious milk chocolate. They're irresistible, they really are. And they taste amazing. So I hope you give these a try and I hope you love them. And until next time, I'll see.